it's it's been an interesting one. Very, 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 very exciting. In fact, yes, last week was like a validation for everything I've been doing so far, so good. Not just me, me and my team here. I met a lot of podcast fans at the Lagos Startup Expo. You don't know what that means to me, honestly. Honestly. And yeah, I'm, I'm here with Bulu and Onome. Not Onome. Yeah, Onome is behind the scenes. I'm here with Bulu and Nifemi. Mm-hmm. Onome was behind the scenes. Gracious was behind the scenes. Maybe if you spotted them on that day, you might not know. But yeah, it was really, really amazing. I mean, maybe I'm speaking for myself. I don't know how it was for you guys. Oh, yeah. I... I I think I saw about, I'm sure it's not as much as yours, but I, saw, I think I saw about three, three people who were podcast fans and were like, you know, they enjoyed watching me on the podcast, listening to me, and it felt, felt really nice. Mm. You feel me, Alpha? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I met yeah. one or two, but most of the time when I'm with any of these two people, they say, I see you guys. So I don't, I, it's like, they don't see me. Because it'd be like I see you guys on the podcast, but no oh, offense no. taken. No offense no, taken. Guys, I have to tell you guys, no offense taken. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. No, but honestly, it's really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, you do this and you wonder if people are even watching, if people are even listening, if you are really making any impact. But yeah, the feedback was really, really awesome. And it was great to see you guys at the Lagos Startup Expo. And not just before we even leave the Lagos Startup Expo, but it was amazing. And if Femi's prediction came to pass, right? You yes. saw a lot of match for yes. those of you that came to the Startup Expo. Even <laughs> there was one guy. <laughs> that, that guy knows to buy shirts again. <laughs> <laughs> he has his wardrobe sorted for the month or for the for the rest of the year. Uh, and I said it. I'm not bluffing. Yeah, startups is there like yeah. So, uh, which which startup came there with uh, like a line of clothing? A line of clothing. Like they were all on Angus. Oh, I think, oh, I think that's cartonic. cartonic. Yeah, cartonic. Cartonic. Yeah. yeah. And they had a VR. Uh, yeah, I think uh, they had like really nice boots. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Our, ours was nice too. Our experience. <laughs> Aha, did you, you, have, you would have seen me on this, you know, the film. So, but <laughs> apart from that, uh, shout out to the guys, the, some of our sponsors and exhibitors, right? We had Opta FS on stage. We had Gray on stage. We had Cartonic on stage. We have Rachnida on stage. And uh, a special shout out to uh, Masterclass Facilitators, uh, Odwai Wini, Odwai Wini of Piggy Vest, CEO of Piggy Vest. Uh, then we have Olio Iso, managing partner at We Capital. Then Oshone. Atavi. Sorry? Atavi. Atavi, Oshoni Atavi. I didn't want to pronounce it. Did you tell you that I pronounced <laughs> it? Okay. Oshoni Atavi, the VP of Ops at uh, Private Greek. Really, really amazing sessions. You, be, you should be seeing some of the articles coming out uh, already. And we had over 4,000, over or up to almost. Up to 4,000. Up to 4,000 attendees. Like, that thing felt like. That was so sorry. It was crazy. Like, even with the rain. Coming out. Even with the rain. Was... When I saw the rain in the morning, I thought people were not going to come. Yeah, I was scared. And I was, I was like, God, that big. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys really amazed us. Thanks for believing in us. Thanks for trusting in us. And uh, yeah, in this our only two corner of the podcast. You guys are amazing. Let's get right into the cocoa of the whole matter. The cocoa of the matter. Yes. What will a Tech Point Africa podcast be without Emmanuel Paul of Tech Point dragging the Nigerian federal government? It's always awesome, right? <laughs> and uh, no beef, no beef. I mean, those guys, that are my people. I respect them. They've done amazing stuff, most of the people there. And uh, But I have to call things out when yeah, I say yeah. it, right? So today, we're hearing that the Nigerian lawmakers are asking the federal government just four days to when they are about to leave. <laughs> <laughs> just four days to when they are about to leave. They're asking them to give account of a loan, 400 million Naira loan. Yeah, 460 million dollars actually. Million dollars loan. 60 million Naira extra. <laughs> okay, so that's just like, that's just like a million dollars, right? Yeah. No. On 60 charity. million this dollars. Dollars. Like 460 four, million, million dollars. dollars. <laughs> we are not over No, no you yet. guys are playing. No. No, we are not. Oh my god. Okay, please. If <laughs> give us the gist. What's what's really happening there? Okay, is I think it's is a season of accountability. The other just five days to go. 
No, no, no. Like, yes. Season of accountability. Well, which kind of accountability <laughs> is that one? Well, I think it was two weeks ago that um, lawmakers were also asking, was the NCC about what they did with the um, grant that was given to them for rural connectivity. Yeah. This time is the uh, federal federal High court in Abuja asking. Um, oh. Asking um, the president. <laughs> oh, it's a high court, not the lawmakers. Okay. Yes, mm, the high co- uh, it's asking the president that what did you do with the first 60, 460 million dollars loan you took for Abuja CCTV project? Like that is like it's like a security project to make sure that all eyes are everywhere. Eyes are everywhere in the federal capital territory and to protect the citizens. Mm. And as far as they are concerned, the last money was disbursed in 2020 for the last round of the but we can't see anything about the project. So they're asking that where what happened to the money? Where is the CCTV? <laughs> so uh sorry, just so that no one is offended. I'm mm. also from this state called Edo State. Mm. Okay, so who knows if that was what they used? Don't get. Okay. Yeah, I'm, not I'm, even, I'm not understanding. I'm not even going to explain. <laughs> I get it. These are people that use brooms. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe that's what they use. Like maybe they went to. So the, the they do it spiritually and they use it to organize prayers and fasting. Okay. That, no, that's what they say. Like pray for Nigeria, pray for security, pray for, pray against famine and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so maybe that's what they put the money yeah, in. So. They, they, maybe they gave it to someone to bless somebody. Okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just playing. Not, I'm not just <laughs> so, anyways, the minister, minister of finance was like, okay, okay, we accept that. Okay, you've, 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 you've collected money. We are paying back the money now at least. When you borrow money, you should mm. be able to say, this is what I use the money to do. If I'm paying it back, it's not paying me. But So the minister of finance, that's his, um, what's her name? What's her name? Zainab Ahmed was saying like, okay, we need something to show for what you collected money for because whether you collected it, whether you used it or not, we are paying it back. Wait, is and the minister herself that is saying this or they are telling her? No, she's the one asking. She, yeah. She's, she's the one doing the asking that. She's the one doing the asking. Did you? Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. The minister of finance is asking who? The federal government. He's asking the federal government. Yes, now. Are so you sure this script is, is Yes. Okay. Because Minister of Finance is so part the of the federal government. Yes. The, the High Court is asking the president through the Minister. Ministry of Finance, Budget and Planning. Okay. So the Minister of Finance is asking... Who? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me explain. Okay, please grace yourself. Out. Okay. So the court is saying the Minister of Finance... Mm-hmm representing the government Mm -hmm. should explain what happened to the money. Okay. Because some people from the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, went to court after the same minister was heard saying that Nigeria is servicing a loan, but she does not have any explanation Explanation on the status of the project itself. So they now went to court and say, Minister cannot be saying that she does not know She's government. Where, what project is projecting? Mm. What happened to our money? So come and tell us so because we are not understanding. Oh my God. Oh my. And this God. is not the first time. <laughs> Just four days to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and this is not the first time. In 2020, Nigeria also borrowed like 325 million dollars from China from the same loaner. Those people, they, they have too many money to be loaning uh, com- com- countries that don't when know they where their future is going. Anyways, and that that was supposed I'm to. Not here with you. And <laughs> that and that was supposed to to be used to expand fiber. Um, infrastructure in 90 states, including the including in the northern part of Nigeria, and that one too. No project till date, and Nigeria is servicing that loan. So, anyways, China seems to be um, what's the if, like they have their arms opened, yeah. but they know what they are doing Come because if because if Nigeria can't pay back this loan, what China is able to do. Um, can do right is to, I think, take over. Wait, 
Mm. Take over national assets. You can take over national assets. Yes, if Nigeria is not able to pay back these loans. But uh, then, uh, so the uh, thing is, a country has not paid back your loan and it's coming back for another loan and you are giving them. Why not? Say it's, why not? It's business. The, 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 it's, it's yeah, exactly. Business. Exactly. It's, it's like, it's like um, I don't know if I can see this on here, but it's like someone who deals drugs. You, see, you, push, you better say it on here. <laughs> me, I've already said my own. It's not limited. Like someone who deals drugs, they will keep giving, they will keep giving the addict like even if you know you can take this because <laughs> they know that at the end of the day once they have the person hooked on the on those drugs right, and I, then they stop i i, I don't even the person want will to find any means to talk about how, how much nigeria has accumulated in loans from only from china yeah yeah we're just talking about what the tech related projects are uh, that they took loan for. for so we talked about the cctv mm-hmm. kind of security thing which of course, uh, except it's God watch over a city, you mean yeah, security the, the CCTV do, cameras. Do you are yeah, doing it in vain, right? <laughs> then, then of course we have the fiber, fiber Optical. connectivity yeah. projects. But why do that when you already have Starlink? We can celebrate Starlink. <laughs> so I'm not shading anybody. You, I'm just saying. So, but that's that, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's 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 move on. I don't want to get. I don't no, want to get. Yeah, yeah. So there's four hundred sixty million dollars. Is are you sure? Are you sure this is dollars? Yeah, it's dollars. Okay, and there's three hundred and twenty-five million dollars, and there's a bunch of. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other loans that these guys have taken from For China on one project or the other. Okay, that's fine. And I think they're commissioning some projects, right? They commission some projects before they leave. Yes. I saw it in the news that they also want to take more loans, mm-hmm. but there was an outcry about it last week or so. so. <laughs> it is well. All right, people of God, let's let's try and let's try and move on. Let's try and move on. Let's try and move on. Ah, God, this is very very painful. So, are we moving on to USSD? USSD. Uh, this is not just government. This is not just a government issue. This is also a company. No, an industry versus industry issue. So the two industries that actually move Nigeria's economy, I mean, I don't know of any industry that has been more impactful in the last 20 years than these two. The banking sector and the telecom sector, they've been they've been on an ongoing dispute since 2019. That's, the, that's what I can remember right now. We're over who should pay for USSD. Is it the banks or the customer? So, you know, in Nigeria, where smartphone penetration is still on the rise, a lot of people access banking services through USSD, right? So they dial star 894-ash or star 919-ash or any other, depending on the code for your bank, right? So if you don't have data, if you don't have a smartphone, you can still access banking services. You can transfer money and all of that. Then in 2019, sometime in 2019, they said... Uh, they will be charging 6.8 naira per session. And the session was between 6 seconds to 8 seconds or 10 seconds, I'm sure, thereabouts. Between 6 to 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. That's what they call a USSD session. So that has been the issue. Now, to help us trash this out, we are bringing in our... The, should I use the word don't have data? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you, Yinka, for joining us today. So Yinka is the head of Research on uh, data at TechPoint, uh, intelligence by TechPoint. Sorry, you people want to. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not there yet. Uh, yes. Um. Yes. It's good to be back. Yeah. Thank you. So, I mean, can you help us make sense of this whole USSD thing? Is is so this something it, you can? It's it's tricky because you said uh, we should pay for it. Uh, for me, I am not a businessman, but I think whoever that is using it should be the one to pay for it, which is user. So, uh, yes, so uh, so that's that. But then, surprisingly, that uh, this um, fight between who should pay for it and not started in 2019. Mm. Uh, the figures from um, CBN is saying otherwise. Mm. Uh, because the value of uh, USSD transfers made, I mean, transfers made on USSD, 
in 2020 is 3 trillion naira. 3 trillion in 2020. Yes. Okay. So, being that the the wahala started a year before, so you expect that maybe in 2021 it should drop. But then it jumped from 3 trillion to 5.2 trillion naira. In 2021. In 2021. Okay. And surprisingly, it was dived in 2022 to 4.5, dropping about 685 85 billion naira. Mm-hmm. So, which is surprising when you swing, I mean, when you said that the fight started in 2019. Except the case of uh, it got serious. 2021. In 2021, yes. which affected the drop in 2022. Yeah, I think in 2021, Telco is now trending to, to cut shut off. down. So the banks. That's right. The first time that they release the figures that they uh, of how much they are being owed. Are being owed. Yes. Old, yeah. Yes. So, but the whole fight started around that 2019 thing. So, I mean, everybody knows that I'm a fan of the telecom industry, right? Yep. But I've, I'm trying to see a balance between these two things. The telcos are saying this thing is used to drive financial inclusion. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be an issue. The neck of the customer Mm -hmm. the banks are saying it's the the customer that should be paying for it so an argument i was talking with someone with significant banking experience and he was like if you want to call bank customer care is it the bank that will pay for you to call the bank customer care or you will take it from your time so but what i'm not on the what i don't understand is you you nifemi said she's getting charged for ussd Yes, I use Assets Bank. Oh, and you're dropping I, them, all right. <laughs> and if I use the 901, yeah. I get charged for my, um, uh, for my airtime. what's it called, airtime, yes. I don't get charged. I use UBA and I use First Bank. I, I don't get charged. I use um, GT Bank, but then I only use USSD for to, airtime. To, to buy airtime. Doesn't when matter. I'm out of and I can um, put up my, I mean, put up my app. Okay, so this is it. Surprisingly, you get charged. Swap Bank has, no, I yeah. don't think so. Uh, so back I said two o eight or thereabout, twenty two thousand eight, two thousand seven or thereabout. When you actually call customer care, so it's free. No, it's not free. It's bank free. customer care. Okay, it's no, not no, telecom. bank customer care. I mean, telecom customer care. Uh, it was oh. free that year. No, there are some that you pay. But I think MT was charging twenty five naira or thirty naira. Oh. So about two thousand and seven, two thousand and seven. Oh, okay. We never get phone by that time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you get about I think twenty five or thirty thirty naira. I can't remember, but I know you get you get charged. Yes. But it's not per, you're not paying per minute. It's just mm. for the duration of that call. So if your call drops and you're calling again, you get charged again. So, oh yes, the customer should pay, but then yeah, at the end of the day, uh, the customers are banking with these banks. So there should be like a compromise. Okay, yes, you do this. If you do this, you get charged. If you don't do this, you get charged. If your se- the session, uh, 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 the length of your session is long, maybe it should okay. be. It so should be, I, I, I have something to say, like, it's not me trying to be devil's advocate here, mm. but this is what I think, right, for... Financial inclusion is something that is expected from um, f- um, any financial institution, at least from what the government expects from them. Mm-hmm. And one way to achieve that is to make sure that all channels that, that they have available um, embrace or include those that wouldn't be able to use, say, uh, mobile apps and other internet banking services. Mm-hmm. So in a way, Using USSD or including USSD is a way of the bank posturing that they are into the, or the key into the financial inclusion plan mm-hmm. and also getting more people to use their services. Mm-hmm. So in a way, it might be benefiting the users, but it's a way of giving, of putting the banks in a good light. So if they now say they are not ready to pay those charges, they should just cut it off and they should know what, they will see what will happen to their customers. They will see what will happen to people that use them, right? They will see what will happen to their image in the face of the federal government. So if they look at all those odds, I think they should be willing to share the charges instead of pushing it to the consumers. Yes, that's what I think. So uh, another angle to that is, yes, but then this financial inclusion drive is not a fight for uh, uh, for the banks. It's, I mean, not, not fight. It's not a, an initiative by the banks. 
it's a CBN uh, thing. It's a, yes. yes, it's a federal government say yes, we want people to be financially it's what I expect So from it you. might be a case of the uh the banks, CBN, federal government coming to the table and say, Okay, yes, what can we do to make this thing more accessible to the people? Maybe uh, not charging them uh, uh tax on using USSD or social so that at the end of the day you are reducing the burden on the telcos so they don't pass that across so you are reducing the burden definitely they also reduce it to their end users so that might be a a a, 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 a middle to ground, me, a middle ground. Okay. so whatever is okay yes federal government says i want 80 percent of nigerians to be financially included mm-hmm. by this year so yes you understand but then what are you going to do to make sure that that is achieved Okay. Okay. I think. Okay. So I want to say one more thing. Okay. Like, if whatever compromise they are going to reach, mm. right? Telcos will still insist mm. that banks should pay them the one twenty billion naira been, they have been uh, owed. Uh, if they are going to reach any compromise, but I don't think banks are forthcoming on that. I don't know if they want to pay back that that what they are owing. Mm. And if they don't pay that back, there's no way they can reach any compromise at this moment. Mm. Even if they are going to say eventually want to move the the charges to customers, there is still an outstanding that they have to pay to the telcos. So if the banks claim that they shouldn't be the one to pay, Mm. so there's something about debt that if the person who is supposedly owing does not agree that 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 I am, I am, I'm not going to be a long fight. I say, okay, I'm owing you, but I'm like, I'm not the one that is supposed to be paying this. They are telling me that I'm owing you. So his question is, how am I owing you when I'm not the one supposed to be paying? It's going to be a long fight. Yeah. So I mean, anyways, my bank is already charging me. I don't know about other banks. Okay, so uh, that's that's a question. If your bank's already charging, it's not your bank. I mean, my telco is already charging. Yes. What network is MTN? MTN probably, I use MTN too. Why is MTN not charging me? Yeah, maybe because of your bank. Because my bank. Your bank says you it's a bank that is increasing that debt. It's my bank then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but interestingly, GT Bank also. Yeah, Inca uses GT Bank. It does not charge. It's not getting charged. So yeah. anyway, I maybe I'm getting so charged and I don't know. Because um, every time I use my USSD, I use Nine Mobile to GT Bank. So I always get this message when I start the transaction that you will be charged 6.94 naira yeah, for this transaction. Amount. Do you want to go ahead? Mm-hmm. But I was, I'm, I'm also asked that. I'll be in the middle of a call and MTN rudely tells me your credit your has credit been exhausted. Has I will die standing one night. What? Okay. It, uh, okay. With no, no credit. Well, maybe That's how I know that they are not point, me. Maybe at that point, you still have enough credit to initiate the USSD transaction. It's not, it's not, so that when they tell you that. One minute remaining. It's minute. not one minute It's not one minute like remaining. Like they ended your call. Exhausted. So it's, whatever is remaining is not even going to be up to six naira. That's that's going to be another issue. But looking at Sharon Agbaje's statement, the CEO of GT Trust's holding company, the holding company behind GT Bank, he said two important things. That data subscriptions should be slashed for Nigerians so Nigerians can make use of internet banking services as opposed <laughs> to USSD. That USSD is an outdated and cumbersome technology. Then the telcos right now should charge customers for ussd directly rather than waiting for the banks to do so chingozi i don't know where he got his mind from he went to challenge uh on american put of the article he went to challenge uh, shimakmanji's statement that slashing the cost of data would not drive financial inclusion so let's let's hold on, mm-hmm. hold on. so there's this start from jesemi that shows the percentage of uh, smartphone penetration Right, as of 2021, Nigeria, in the, they did the, the um, analysis of Sub Saharan Africa. As of 2021, Nigeria has like 44% smartphone mm-hmm. penetration, as it, 44% of the total mobile connections we have. Mm-hmm. Right, we're not using NCC zone, NCC carries everybody that has SIM cards. Mm-hmm. Some people have three SIM cards, four SIM cards, right? But unique mobile subscribers. That's how you will know the number of mobile phones they are. Mm-hmm. Then, how many smartphones? So, smartphones account for 44% exactly. of that. And they are projecting it to reach 64% by right, 2025. 2025. Now, the argument here is, if the banks are saying the data 
that people are going to be gravitating towards smartphones. That smartphones are expensive now is only an issue now. As of 2007, that Yinka was talking about, a feature phone was costing over 20,000 or thereabouts. But right now, a feature phone, you can buy a feature phone of one five. Feature phone? Like, like a mobile phone. 2007. Oh, okay, okay, of course, of course. So right now you can at buy a, mo- 4, a future at phone. At least four thousand. One five. No, except <laughs> <laughs> you are not buying it new. At least except you are not buying it new. If you are buying it new, you can buy a iPhone for one k. Which year? No, it's. Um, Are you sure it's no, not no, no, those on um, Chinko that you, very Chinko. Very, no when, you, when, you, when you do it like this, very light. Pow, pow, pow. It's very light. They stole it. They stole it. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. sure you knew, but like the features on it is just you may cause put on touch light, send messages. Is the those those the real turn on And it's very light. <laughs> like it's very light. Okay. So. That's the argument that if smartphone penetration is going the way we think it's going to go, mm-hmm. these smartphones will become very, very cheap in the future. Mm-hmm. Why should they bother themselves with USSD okay. right now? If <laughs> smartphone is going to be cheap in the future, will it be... Uh, uh, is it everybody that's going to use a smartphone when they eventually become cheap? It will not, it a will, grandma in the village... An uncle that is not that uh, 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 educated or tech, or tech. You see, some people hold smartphones, but then they don't have bank caps on it because they can't use it. Mm. Should I tell you a story of my? I just started using a bank app last year. And what I use is USSD. I, you know, I, I just I just don't like bank apps because if they steal my phone, that's a lot of like quick sex. But Mobile, I just it was just easier for me to use USSD. I, I don't know why I decided to go and start using bank apps. So and it's not as if I've not been using Android phone for years. Mm. So so I don't think the, the issue is data cost. Okay. I don't think the issue is data cost. And I don't I don't I don't agree to USSD be outdated given the kind of market that we are that we are in. Or well, people say you have a young digital native population. Okay. okay, let's let's uh, let's, <laughs> let's end this. <laughs> okay, let's talk about in Iran, right? There, there's financial inclusion, there's USSD, there's telco disputes, but somewhere along this, all of this, in a move that makes me feel like maybe this thing not really consign these guys. <laughs> I'm talking about the CBN and in Iran because you have a country that is trying to push for financial inclusion, and instead of helping the telcos and the banks. You are building your own products in Naira. And now there's update on Inera. Yes, 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 yes. There's an update on Inera, and that update is that adoption of Inera is disappointingly. I don't understand. Do you people have been saying Inera <laughs> been processing seven billion yes, transactions? Just, uh, yes. CDN is releasing yes. very big. Yeah. So basically what what's what's happening is that the IMF has come to Tell us that you know CBN has been should I say boboing us about about some of the figures they've been releasing. And not all the figures are actually false, but should I say most are because recently this year uh, CBN told us that around forty seven for seven million dollars worth of transactions have happened on Inera. Yes, they told us that uh, how many million? Forty-seven million dollars. They told us that, which is I think that's for something billionaire. Which they also told us that uh, the total of thirty million wallets, and IMF has come out to say that, you know what, um, the amount of the value of total transactions are actually, um, no, the total number of transactions are around eight hundred thousand. The, all the transactions that have That's happened, volume. yes, volume, transaction volume that has happened via Inera is around eight hundred thousand, right? And when you think about it, eight hundred thousand transactions, and then you think about forty forty something million dollars, it doesn't add up, right? It really doesn't add up. No, and then, then it's nice. <laughs> no, it could be big volumes. No, I mean, the average, high numbers. the average amount of transactions is sixty thousand naira. 60,000. Yes, that's the average. Okay, so uh, one thing about average is average kind of like take out the big part and the smaller parts. So you can have someone transferring, doing transaction okay. of a million uh, naira. Mm. 
in a single transaction. Okay. So and then and you have people doing ten naira, hundred mm-hmm. naira, uh, uh, two hundred naira transactions. So okay. when you average it out, so that kind of like take out the <laughs> outliers. Okay. And the let's okay. So the let's give them end. that. Let's so give it's them possible. That. If we even reduce the numbers, mm-hmm. right? Forty-seven million transactions. Mm-hmm. Forty-seven million dollars yeah. worth of transactions and eight hundred transactions total volume. Mm. If you divide it, mm. if you use the average that he just mentioned, it's fifty-eight dollars per, per transaction, transaction. Oh. and that's around. So that's not bad. Let's say if you are using five hundred S hundred, that's just thirty k. So and if you are using black market, that's just forty-five thousand naira per transaction. So that might not be bad. Okay, so let's 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 give them that. Sibian has won around, <laughs> but 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 let's now let's now um. You know, think about wallets. Okay. IMF is telling us total wallets download is at eight hundred and sixty thousand, and CBN said total wallet is thirty million. How, how do you want to help okay. CBN out okay. there? But, <laughs> no, no, no. This is it. Okay. Um, you can assess your um in and out with your SSD, right? Yes. Okay. So. Okay. That's another valid so question. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is it. So, um, no, uh, go on, go on. Like, I'm doing this if, even mm. though it's not something that I would normally do. Okay. Yes. So, the CBN saying that, yes, they are fig- that's their figure. Mm. It's uh, 13 million. Mm. So, it might be a case of, so far you register. Mm. So, you are a. Whether, no, even, yeah, if, whether through USSD. Whether through USSD. Mm-hmm. That, and then you say, IMF is tracking apps. Apps, okay. App downloads. Mm-hmm. And then I'm saying, whether because you don't need the app to register, okay. So that that means you can say yes, their number is okay. valid. Good point. Good point. Who is However, for the USSD? Wait. Before we even get there, <laughs> when when did the USSD when did the US, USSD start working? The USSD start work, started working this year. Started working this year. Yes. This year. Last time, even the last article I wrote about Inara, I think um, was sometime sometime this year, March or so, it was not working then. Mm. Right, it only started working a few months ago. Yeah, so, so, are you now telling me that between it's between then and now we've gone from 860 to right to 13 million? Is that is that even feasible? Okay, so what if it's a case of by us at the time you tried? Hey, I'm not, I don't know how to make this, <laughs> you know, it's not something that I'm probably doing. so. Are you sure that it's not, it's not a case of us at the time mm. the uh, uh, you tried it in the SSD. It maybe it was just that. Time. Maybe it was just that time that it was down. So I, I want to believe that. Yes. <laughs> want, <laughs> it was not just that. Time. I, want, this is, I want to okay. believe that uh, uh, um, Inara has a very huge potential. I want to believe that. I will not that the number that, yeah. of mobile transactions, number of, of mobile transfers. Mm-hmm. Like imagine doing a hundred and eleven trillion transactions on mobile apps in a year mm. and that's what was done uh, last year yes, yes in 2020 the mobile apps that's not just mobile money okay. say you like open your, your gt, GT bank, bank you app. open your uh, access bank and mm. you do mobile transfers okay. 111 trillion naira so that's and that's crazy. that so and now you have people that are not in the banking system and CBN is saying that you people that are not in the banking system, you can come into the inner uh, uh, spectrum. Mm. So that means the potential for people to, there are a lot of people outside that can come in through the inner. So yes, the potential is there for them. But then for the numbers, uh, I don't know, like we can only say it's possible this is possible is, is that. So yes, okay. that's that. So one round something trillionaire. Yes, in transactions, What's mobile year? app transfers last year. Just last, last year. year. Yes. Mobile in apps. Twenty twenty one did fifty three. Wow. So so are you are you saying more than double? More than double. Are you saying year. what if all these people move to in a right? I'm not saying what if they move. I'm saying people that are outside the banking system, not you and I. Oh, people. we are already in the banking system. People that do have bank accounts that are just entering the banking system. Mm. So the in era might be mm. okay. the first point for them to enter the banking system. And considering that uh, uh, um, most services on it, no, even most or even all services on it, it's free. To do anything on Inara is free. Yeah. To, to create, mm. to do transfers, to do anything on it is free. So it might be a, a good point of entry for people that are outside, not you and I that already have 
five bank accounts already. Mm-hmm. People that don't have bank account at all, that are outside okay. the banking system, it might be a great potential for them considering uh, saying you want to uh, have, have everybody financially included in the country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's one is point, actually, one point. It, it is actually, and I will not dispute the fact that it's, it has the potential, potential. right? Um, given, you know, some of the, I will also want to you know, acknowledge that the CBN has, well, they have their you know, times where they've misbehaved, but yeah. I want to acknowledge that they've done a lot of things with the NRA that are actually quite commendable, you know, such as the USSD that they added. Um, if you open the app now, the USS, the oh, e-wallet oh, right app, it's really not that different from your normal banking app probably with even more nicer features, right? Um, for example, say you're a merchant, for example, you can just create a USSD, um, a QR code, right? You can just put it in your shop. Okay, and okay. people, if they say you have something you sell, like it's 15 era, just create a QR code. Once they scan it, they don't even need to know the price. Once they scan it, they'll see that it's 15 era. They'll see what they are paying for. Like other features like that, that, that are really nice, right? But... The point is adoption is yes. slow. It's very low. Compared and, to what the CBN and, has been. Yes. Outing. The way they've even been saying it, say they just said, this is, these are the numbers, right? But they'll say, oh, it, we've seen remarkable. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. mean, okay. when you play. Yeah, I so, think funny. Sorry. So uh, as much as all the mm-hmm. points I've said earlier, it's in support of, CB, um, of CBN and the mm-hmm. adoption. So this is, the point I'm saying now is, Totally against CBN. Sorry. Um, so yes, the adoption is likely to be slow because one, oh, I don't think you any interest on Inera. No. So okay. if I have <laughs> one hundred Naira there mm. for five months, it's not going to increase. It's not going to reduce. But if I have five hundred Naira on my bank, so far I did not do maybe SMS a lot or stuff like that. I will still be getting at least maybe two nera or one nera or even on um, seventy six cobo yeah, every month. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, get you see, get you see, I get mean, interest. No matter how small it is. So okay. what I'm trying to drive at is, in nera, yes, you want people to come on it, but is my money increasing? Will I get interest and stuff like that? I mean, even okay. if it's audio interest. Okay, I counter, I counter to that. A counter to that is, is take your flat it is it. not. It is not. Yes, is it I mean, possible that? Banks will not really remove anything from your money if you put it there. They won't collect whatever maintenance it is. Yeah. That is it really no, possible that you won't use SMS? But alert, Inera doesn't like do. I don't do SMS a lot on no mind. Inera is giving you all these things and they are still not taking anything from you. Inera will send you SMS. But how long will in, uh, will CBN keep up? You will that do your SSD free. and you will not. No, no, no. How long will CBN keep up that free? Uh, and th- that's uh, a good point. Before you food. hear, you will hear that. Before you know, you start hearing that. And your government is spending seven trillion. I'm actually for them to make subsidy. money. And off then the yeah. government can come in and say we can't keep doing this in the name of trying to financially include everybody. Mm. Okay, that's a very very uh, valid point. I I don't want to even drag this <laughs> anymore. But yeah, um, yeah, we, Inca has been spitting some stats over here and uh, supporting the, CBN. Supporting CBN. Very funny, right? No, but, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If 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 you know yeah, Inca personally, uh-huh. you'll be very 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 surprised that he's supporting CBN because he's their chief. He's their chief critic. So. Uh, yeah, the fintech report is coming out, handled by Inca himself, and you will be seeing a lot of data points on Nigeria's financial space, USSD, mobile money, agency banking. If you want to understand this space that you are playing in, if you want to understand, if you want to get into tech and you want to actually understand what the fintech space looks like, these are the kind of things you should be looking out for, you should be reading, you should be researching, and of course, our doors are always open, our DMs. Okay, partially open DMs. Mm-hmm. You can always DM us, DM him, if you have any questions on the report. So when when is it going to be launching? Uh, okay, so we're still working on the uh, the marketing. So, but the plan is two weeks because we're still trying to run uh, wrap up with yeah Lego startup Lego Expo. Startup Expo so, okay, um, okay. So yeah, two weeks time. Don't worry, you we, we hear it here first. Most important. So yeah, you'll be getting ready to see more of Inca to kind of help us understand yeah the fintech yeah. space. So yeah, let's move to scams. Which day was that? Someone called me. I was feeling really, really down that day. I was sleepy. They were not trying to call me to explain that my OP account 
needs to be refreshed and updated <laughs> so I can access new services. Mm. Okay. I know I'm trying to explain that I will have to go to the nearest OP agent okay. to go and set it up. Okay. But in the meantime, they can help me do an update. Okay. And I said, okay. And I said, okay, they will send me a message now. I was saying, I saw the message and I said, hey, okay. Yeah. What's the number in the message? What's the number in the message? I said, ah, ah, no, wow. I've not seen the message, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you send it again? I said, ah, I've sent it now. I said, ah. Uh. So, okay, you guys probably know how that, yeah. how that went, right? Yeah. But yes. A lot of scams come in these guys mm -hmm. so they come like trojan horses they come like gifts they come like oh i want to help you out if you if you check out my video on bc documentaries you'll see that okay after bc is like business email compromise all those tech support is usually one of the biggest scams like they want to help you resolve an issue that does happen with your credit card they want to help you resolve an issue that happened with your app but something is happening in social media now that i don't understand mm -hmm. they are calling it the wangiri scam I feel it's offensive to whoever is bearing one gear somewhere in this world. Mm. Oh. No, it's no one is bearing anything. Okay, oh, so it's possible. It's possible. I know, I don't know. an ex tech point that bears one gear, so it's not too far off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Brenda. Okay, bye bye. Continue. <laughs> All right, so um, it's like you said, the one gear scam. Um, there was a notice by um, you know, by the government, by the um, Kenyan government, that the scams be back right and wait what is this scam what yes is, what is it what is yes back? the wangiri scam so what is the wangiri this scam? is this is what the wangiri scam is it's it's actually japanese it's, it's actually a japanese word okay i don't know if i'm pronouncing this correctly but uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> it means oh, okay i'm pronouncing one, it the way i imagine kenyans were pronouncing it yeah okay, okay. it means one ring cut like grin grin cut like flash Mm. oh yes that's what i mean so I what what they do is it's actually a kind of like a psychological kind of scam so they will call you with a foreign number say like switzerland number number from peru and then they'll cut they won't let you pick it up right so once you call back once you call back you know you'll be curious like, it's calling me from Switzerland. Is this my? <laughs> is this my upper yellow? <laughs> so you pick up and then you are like, the the but they, what they do is they find a way to keep you on the phone. While you are on the phone, they are now able to drain your credit airtime. Do I want to call it? You call in, <laughs> exactly. So they try to keep you on the phone for as long as possible, right? And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just a small scam. And the I think the most recent data I was able to find showed that in 2019, those scams they were able to make almost two billion dollars on those scams. But well, it's globally though; mm. they were able to make almost two billion dollars. Yeah. And what happens is, when that happens, and then you see that maybe you loaded 3k on your line, you will call your service provider and be like. What 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 happened to my credit? And then you know, I saw reports where those service providers are usually forced to pay back those things. So sometimes it's now even not just the person they are scamming; they are scamming a whole telco yes. hmm. at the end of the day, right? Because if you have to, so because you don't understand what happened, you should know that somebody was draining draining your. Okay. So they get these phone numbers from that from the dark web. So that's why people should be careful how they post. Somebody is doing. Somebody you. wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go help you. No go flash you. Well, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> stop <it. laughs> so people should be careful how they, you know, the way you put your numbers out there. Somebody wants to do data giveaway, and you're posting your number on like a public forum i can never, uh, I can never understand yeah, that's, that I can that's, never understand that's, that's that. really crazy yeah and i think there's another one in that on posting your photos on social media i think don't even go to the ai part okay even for scams yes mm -hmm. yes 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 you hear people ah do, are you not the one that looks like this i mean, like, I mean if i have your photo if i have your name 
if for some reason you gave me your father's name because we are seeing challenges like that online now. Like, is your what is your mom? <laughs> what is, is your mommy beautiful? Oh my god. Or what's your mother's maiden name? name yeah, like, like who has whose mother like, has just beautiful ask, name? Just ask for my card details. Eh? Yeah. Just say I should put my card and details. I want to check something. <laughs> because I what mean, is that? Like I can I don't know, maybe this is me being um obnoxious or full of myself but i still believe that only the um the greedy that gets scammed mm. because the you whenever somebody wants to except the person like is using like um advanced social engineering um tactics to get to you but when it comes to getting you to drop something that is absurd that every other day if not for the gains you are looking out for you will not drop it then i don't think well, um somebody should fall for such scams i don't completely agree Shad. yes yes greedy people scam. <laughs> with crypto yeah that with one greed. that was a different yes, um, greed. <laughs> you know? greed. yeah there's nothing you want to say about that <laughs> no, it, just yeah but but some like if if you give people enough information right You might not even, you might not like might say, not see yeah, yeah. say yes, there was yes. someone that called me one time and was like, oh, I was actually sleeping. I was not even sure what I was doing. Yes. Like, so he called me and he was like, oh, something, something, something. And then he asked that a code will be sent to me. Yeah. And I saw the code and then he called back. Mm-hmm. And I almost gave him the code. And I was like, ah, which code is this? I saw that it was my WhatsApp. Yes. Um, two factor it has, it has actually happened And imagine he was able to get, it, get in. And then it DMs Emmanuel. So, ah, eh, ah, my girl, I beg, I did this. Thing, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and Emmanuel is like, ah, Bulu is somewhere. And Emmanuel sends 100k. Like, I will send you 100k. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, actually, that's what like, happened to me before. In fact, I called, I was sleepy. Mm. It was those years that I, we, were, we were barely sleeping. And it mm. was only I and Emmanuel that was on the tech point editorial then. I was very smart. I just maybe took a nap around um, say 7 a.m. and maybe the cock came in around 7.30. Mm-hmm. And the rest of was actually hacking my WhatsApp, asked for the code that was sent. But he said, it's for my church group and we have a program and um, the, the I need a code to enter the, the this thing. said the code will be sent to me ahead of the meeting. Mm-hmm. I was even saying, I will not be available for the meeting. I will be at work. Like, mm-hmm. okay, the code has sent you. So, the person can just leave me. Mm-hmm. I sent the, the code that was sent as email, I, as SMS to me. I called it for the person. I dropped oh the code. I slept back. So, it was because I have two-factor verification. Oh, okay. He now called back. It was not like, eh, another code, another code that I have. And I said, another code. I said, please, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. I can't give you another code. So, later I dropped that code. I just said, oh, no. More. <laughs> so I just opened my WhatsApp. I saw that I was already logged out, but the person couldn't log in because of two-factor verification. Yeah. So, and I called the guy back mm-hmm. and I prayed for him. <laughs> oh, this is no, interesting. No. I prayed for him. I prayed for him. He dropped the call and I would use another person's phone to call him to pray for him again. <laughs> wow. No. But I was able to get back because two-factor verification. Uh, okay. Oh, man. You are, you are a nice person. You know, that person that called me that day, you know what? I actually feigned that I didn't know what he was doing. He, mm-hmm. he insulted me and caught the call mm-hmm. when I was doing him like this. <laughs> and I called him back like, ah, what, what kind of wrong? customer service is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this how you treat customers? What's, what's the meaning of that? I, said, like eh, I don't think you're the real owner of the OP account. I'm like, eh. Hey. <laughs> and I got the call and I sent him a text message. I said, I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I did that you. to that guy. And uh, I, I didn't even say that. I just told him, you think you are his. I will yeah, find you. But, but the thing is, hey, social engineering, I, I, I published an article, mm. I think a few years back about, um, like I, I talked to Anaka, a, not not like the bad hacker, the good hackers, mm. the penetration testers. And I talked to him and he helped me to see what goes on in the head of a, of the hacker. And I think the article the article is on tech points. We should share it. You should find the link in the description. You should read it. How the, the best way they can get you, no matter how enlightened you, uh, you are, is social engineering. Mm. And they will do their work to get every information they can use to convince you. Mm. But you can help yourself by not putting out too much information about you online. Like, okay, well, 
If you are on my WhatsApp, you know my, my, my mom's birthday, but you might not know I made the name because I will not put it. Yeah, but you should be careful of the information you mm. put online and give away. waste. Be wary of giving mm. waste. Be wary be of all waste. those trends of that day that you look like you don't or something. I don't, mm. I don't want to. Post I don't, the picture, nobody yeah. cares. Post the picture of when you did something great. No, nobody yeah. cares. So And, and yes, ah. don't call back strange international numbers that, yeah. call, that yeah. flash yeah. you. Like, we will help me. you. No go flash you. <laughs> also, there's, there's a website, I think it should also be in the description, where you can see, where you can know if you have been compromised, like your email. Oh, or, okay. Makes so sense. So, what did uh, the link in the description? All right. So, what did the description? We add all our newsletters to the descriptions, and we also add Nego Startup Expo to the description. Just go there, see all the amazing things that happened on that day. That's if you missed it, obviously. And uh, I want it to... Choke! <laughs> don't worry there, there's going to be another one don't mind yeah there will be another one quite soon mm-hmm. and we're going to be having other events so make sure you don't miss out on those ones right and stay tuned stay glued to the tech Point africa podcast for updates like this i hope you enjoyed this episode this was quite a bit longer than usual uh we apologize also we don't because we think it was uh, interesting nope. but of course we're always listening to your feedback and uh, let us know let us know if you enjoyed this format and uh yeah, see you, see you in the next one, right? You can find us. Let's let's do let's do the Bolu the honors. Bolu talk oh. now. Oh, <laughs> you're you not finished. Okay. Ah oh, ah. Uh-uh. There's a. Okay, there's a. Okay, uh-uh. all right. So if you're watching us, if you're watching us, you can find us on YouTube, Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, Twitter, anywhere you want to. TikTok. Do we still post on TikTok, please? Uh, so yeah, you can find us. On, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, family, and well wishers. And for our audio lovers, you can find them on. You can find us on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Hi Radio, or anywhere else you get your podcast. Cool. All right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.